morning how y'all doing big block here hey Kyrie, what's going on what's good evening? good morning grand rising should i say grand rising right and today what we're talking about is uh, i just feel good after this event man you don't understand that's good that's good i love that kind of energy and really before we even get into it um what's your schedule like this week because i really do want to put together a little planning picnic for lack of a better title for right now um but just like a couple of us you know get together maybe thursday night yeah just come to my house today okay but i could do that i'm gonna hit you up after this then all right okay cool all right so yeah we definitely did okay i'm, I'm on five and i'm, I'm actually Scared. Let me get some of that. Yeah. I'm scared. Oh, shit. My bad. Let me get this. From there. I, I wanted to slow down. Out. I'd rather take baby steps to success. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to take this big ass quantum leap. Yeah. Because then that fall off that cliff is going to bust your head wide open. So I feel that 100%. Baby yeah. steps. And then you want to feel the journey the whole way. You know what I'm saying? You. Ha I hate when we have events or just like a week of you know, nonstop action, and then you don't get to like revel in the moment and really enjoy the shit. So yeah, yeah. Well, Baby this, steps. The way. What this event I M three taught me was like nothing's impossible, bro. They just running out the whole the whole stadium, football stadium, with fifteen thousand people in it, and and this boy twenty four years old. Yeah, had two different performers. Like that's incredible, and they was shouting him out, respecting him. You feel me? So. But what I realized is um, failure is wisdom hidden underneath the mistake, right? Hold on. Let me get my notebook. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. <laughs> no, I thought you knew Big Block was coming. No, nah, I should have had my notes out so I could go over what I took because I was on the live stream. So I wanted to, I need to go over what I took down too. Okay. I caught Noel. I caught a little bit of Bryce. No, I caught all of Bryce. I caught a little bit of David. Hold on. Let me get my pen. My journaling we done. Mm -hmm. Okay, I got y'all notes out on Facebook. Y'all gonna need some. Y'all gonna need some notes, man. Y'all wanna write something this shit down. Real talk. Hey, mm -hmm. You forget you don't retain 85% of the information you don't write down. So it literally helps to just write it down. Exactly. And then even if you don't get back to it, you know, it's still locked in your subconscious somewhere. And then if you go back to it, it's just even more now, fire. Now okay. you're a billionaire because what billionaires read, right? Yeah. You don't have to be smart to be a millionaire. So some millionaires might take the notes and then <laughs> toss them bitches. Exactly. That's why I don't like saying note takers are money makers, but I like saying that your notes are your uncashed checks. Because if you don't ever go apply that, you're not making no money from it. Exactly. And that's okay. what people fail to understand. It's like the notes are your uncashed checks, right? Mm-hmm. All right, okay. so Let's say that again. failure is wisdom hiding underneath a mistake. All right, so, and I'm just going to leave, you can put failure as the topic, okay? Failure as the topic, right? And we all know that uh, Renato Perez, right? Yeah. Ronaldo Perez, um, Jalen Goss. Jalen Goss said there's three people that come out of this opportunity, right? A billionaire, a trillionaire, and a witness, right? Mm. People are scared of- Hold up. Next. Like, you can continue writing. I'm, I'm not gonna skip over nothing. Okay. You can be scared of what comes next, right? So what they have to understand is fear is, Fear is good. Like not knowing what's coming next, that means you're going to the unknown. You feel me? That means mm -hmm. you really just fo so focus on yourself that what's coming next, that's what's coming next, it starts to scare you. you. Feel me? Yeah. But failure and success intertwine. 
So without failure, you can't have success, right? Mm. So what do you want, failure or success? I'd rather choose failure because now you got time, time to figure out how to get out of that failure and never go back to it. Right. right. Versus having success and not knowing how to fail. Right. And that's so then when you do fail, are you going to be able to get it all back? Right. Are you going to be able to get it all back? And as a student of the game, you got to pay. Log, this, it's not even nine o'clock in the morning. I cannot with the gyms. I'm trying to tell you. And as a student of the game, we got to pay attention to what's, what's hot and what's new. You feel me? Mm -hmm. Like people's not catching on. We didn't catch on the Bitcoin when we was in high school because we would focus on the history books or whatever. Like we got to be content with knowing what's going on and then applying what other people are doing to get rich to our lives. Feel me? Mm -hmm. So like worrying doesn't take away, you know what I mean, tomorrow's trouble. It takes away today's peace. So as long as you're worrying about something, you're just taking away the time that you got right now because it's not going to take away the time for tomorrow. It's not going to take care of nothing for tomorrow. Mm. It just takes away today's peace. So like Bryce said, some things just don't matter. Some things just don't matter. No negativity. Some, some shit just don't matter. Mm -hmm. Right? If you stay in your head, you dead. Write that down. If you stay in your head, you dead. You keep contemplating about shit. Or you keep worrying about what you did last year that got you in trouble. You're going to keep rethinking and processing that same feeling and then doing the same shit that got you in that same situation. It's called vibration, right? Your energy, vibrations, and elevation is an important part of success, right? All blessings come in, dis in disguise. So you are what you entertain, or we are what we tolerate, right? So if we tolerate people not fucking with us, right? Mm -hmm. If we tolerate that, I'm talking about we keep, okay, y'all coming to this ground house, y'all coming to this ground house, y'all coming to this ground house, and ain't nobody showing up, we keep tolerating that? Mm -hmm. You think I'm going to keep tolerating that? Nah, because you are what you tolerate, you feel me? Exactly, okay. You feel me? Three people come out of this opportunity, like we said, billionaires, trillionaires, and witnesses, right? So what we got to do is learn how to appreciate everything and take take all the edification that's being humble. You know what I mean? Because we all we always know, like like I used to say, you're going to be all right, but you ain't going to be straight. Mm. You're going to be all right, but you ain't ever going to be straight. Yeah. It's always going to be another failure around the corner that you're going to have to figure out. You know what I mean? Millionaires yeah. solve problems all day, though, right? Yeah. And success is 99% mental, right? So next word I want you to write down is value, right? Value. You want to create unity through you, right? You can't be scared to live the life that you want to live because other people are watching you. So the people who put you putting on, they're gonna act, they're gonna be a part of your business based off the value that you give them, right? Mm -hmm. so it's like somebody coming- Hold on, wait, say that again. You said you have to create value through you. What was it? Create unity through create you. Create unity. Right, create unity through you. So you want people to come together because of you. Yeah. It's unity. That way people will feel like, and they, they know if anything go down, okay, we can unify. We can come together. Got you. And this person right here is going to take that risk that's needed to elevate us. Right? Mm -hmm. So with you being a centerpiece of your business, right? You want to mm -hmm. be able to take every risk, right? Write down risk. I want you to make sure you write down risk because you want to be a risk taker because the, the people who make the most money make the most risk. You understand? They mm -hmm. take the most risk. I'm, I'm, I'm getting Airbnb, Airbnb after Airbnb, event after event, fly after fly. I'm going place after place. I'm taking risk after risk. Feel me? So it's like, what, what you got to understand is 
what's your next move, right? What's your next big move, right? Mm-hmm. Your first big move was paying that 235 subscription just to get started. Mm-hmm. Now you can't stop, you can't go lower than that. You can't just spend $10 on, on some promo. You need yeah. to do now $350, 90-day Airbnb. Feel me? Get your squad mm-hmm. in there. You gotta take big risks. You can't, can't take no smaller risk than the one that you already took paying this 235. And it's simple as that. Period. We can't, how can we move forward or apply something to our business? Okay, we get some business card, $15 business card. That's all. That's it. You just gonna get some business cards, bro. No, get a business card, Airbnb that hoe, launch somebody, buy some, buy some uh a cameraman content a video for, for the launch, purchase a cameraman so he can capture the moment, and then you can think about your next move. That's a big move. That's a big move. Yeah. Serena came all the way down here to do a vision board party. She bought two two uh, prospects, and Socorro and, and Legendary came out. Somebody else came. That's a big move. Yeah. Everybody created their vision board. You feel me? Mm-hmm. What we got to do is got to continue to push and take another risk, right? So yep. what I'm going to end with <clears throat> is I got this from Edu Izudina, Dima. Chairman 50. So what he said was, if we keep looking for positives, we're never learning the lessons in our life. Right? Hold on. I'm still writing the last thing. Okay, say it again. So if we keep looking for positives, mm-hmm. we're never we're never learning the lessons, the lessons in our lives. Mm. Right. I'm gonna start breaking down the problems that you have. I'm gonna look for that type of resistance, right? And when you're willing to erase those problems, that's when the breakthrough will come, right? And you get to choose your problems in your life. Mm. So go ahead and recognize those problems. If we keep looking for positives, we're not learning the lessons in our lives. Start breaking down the problems that you have. Look for that type of resistance, right? And when you're willing to erase those problems, that's when the breakthrough will come. And you get to choose the problems in your life. So go ahead and recognize those problems. That was dope. Right? Yeah. So boom, that was all under failure. Failure is a part of success. They intertwine, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, next thing I'm trying to I'm talk about was some financial songs I got from uh, Nicole Michelle. Okay. A couple of tax write-offs. Right. Oh yeah. She's a CPA, but she closed deals and heels. <laughs> so she, she was very it was intriguing what she was saying, right? So she said you don't want to spend a dollar unless it's making or saving you a dollar. Mm. Okay. So in investment don't spend a dollar unless it's <laughs> making or saving you a dollar. Yes. Okay, these are all things that can make you a dollar. Okay, when you have a business, an LLC, you want to put that under your subscription. Mm. Okay, if you got an LLC, put your business card under the subscription. Right, so now you're writing off the subscription as a tax credit. This is important because now you can talk to grown folks about this stuff. Mm-hmm. People who already have their own business about this these tax write-offs, right? So 
for donations, charitable donations, or say you put somebody on promo on your package, right? These are 60% write-offs. You can, you can write off 60% at the end of the year for charitable donations or donations, period. So if you have any donations you can do, do that. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. Facebook ads, website enhancements, car leases, a lease on a car. Mm. Okay. Some some car leases can be expense can be is taxable. Is a tax deductible for like twenty five thousand miles a year for a three year lease. Some people don't know they can get a business card, lease it, and write that off on their taxes, right? So 100% write off will be monthly maintenance fees, right, for your business. Say that again. Uh, these are business fees that can be written off. Okay. All right, 100%. Okay, monthly maintenance fees, entrance expenses. Like if you work on the Wi-Fi, since we do trading off the Wi-Fi, we can write off Wi-Fi as tax deductible. What was after monthly maintenance? Entrance expenses. Mm. So like if you go on a business trip and you yeah. pay a price ticket, you can write that off. Okay. Business startup fees, the 235. You could you could write that off if you started off with your business card, right? Monthly expenses like cash trap, those add-ons, cash trap, IBO, all that. We already said charitable contributions. Yeah. Okay. A justifiable business expenses. Fees and labor cost for personal expenses. And we already said subscription for your IM Academy. Mm -hmm. Okay. Charging someone off a credit card, the fees are deductible. So, say you have an event, right? And mm -hmm. right charges them a fee to buy the ticket. The fees are writable, are deductible tax deductible. So everyone, Bryce bought, Bryce had tickets, right? Everyone who bought a ticket at this event, he wrote off every fee. He wrote off all the fees. So that's coming back to him next year. That's how, that's how we are getting, going to be rich. Okay? It's right. A, it's a nonstop flow of coming, money, money, money. So, and some people, one person wrote off 60% of their AGI, which is their annual gross income. And at the end of the year, she was able to give them $22,000 refund after an audit. Mm -hmm. It's crazy, right? Yeah, how would you write off your annual gross income? That's crazy. They wrote off 60% of it. Mm. Mm -hmm. So, what you cannot deductible, uh, where you cannot deductible an income tax expense. That's one thing. You cannot you, what? You can't deduct an income tax expense. Mm. All right, so you got other things like health insurance, mm. claims, premiums. Oh, I'm sorry. Health insurance claims, the premiums are tax deductible. Laundry cleaning is tax deductible. Wow. Attorney fees. These are all business for your business meals and entertainment 
fifty percent write off. Office rent, permits and licenses, permits and licenses, supplies. Trainings, like if you do any trainings, you can write that off with yeah. your phone. Telephone bill. Repairs and maintenance. Printing. Postage. Okay, you know, you could write off traveling, like um, yeah. plane tickets, yeah. bus tickets. Okay, utilities and uniform expenses. So this one's kind of um, iffy because it's like, it depends on who's buying the uniform, how much volume and the quantity. So say you buy a suit that you need to go talking in, you could write that off. Mm. Or like I bought a Dolce Gabbana outfit to go to Florida and not talk to that. I could write that off. Got you. Okay, I got a little more sauce, but I'm gonna I'm gonna end that at that today for today. You feel me? Appreciate yeah. you coming on. You know, you got a little sauce to pass down your team, be it blocking the building that we're here for. Yeah. Yes. Um, um, a couple things that I had wrote down. Well, first of all, I love when Noel says, "The moment you stop playing with success, success will stop playing with you." Period. Um, also, process and outcome equal influence. A lot of people like to like process, cross out the process part, but process and outcome equals influence. David M and E T was going over um influence. And um, reach off the net. He said, stop looking at your little vision boards and go to your personal's house and help them build theirs. That stood out to me too, because sometimes we always be thinking like, how can I pour in my, how can I pour into myself? How can I make myself better? How can I be a better leader? But sometimes it literally starts with just like taking the focus off of you and focus on your team. Um, yeah. So sometimes, like you said, we'd be so in our head, you actually, dying off and you don't even realize it mm -hmm. that's crazy because we had just did a vision boy event mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. alignment it's crazy so we need to do another one yeah we do we should honestly probably do one like every quarter every three months every 90 days yeah every 90 days to also hold yourself accountable like did you do what you said of, you was gonna do i'm thinking once a week because some people, some people don't really get launched. That's true. And then we have also have new people coming in too. So exactly. And they're going to need. Yeah. Them. So if I got a space for them to come through, I might as well. Hey, I'm with it. I'm with it. Yeah. But, yeah, but like as far as you going to them or like us going to them, you should go to one at least every month. Yeah. Every four weeks, hold yourself accountable. That way you can look back and reflect. I'm with it, I'm with it. I'm about to make a reel. That's what I was doing for you, sent that link out. And then I'm gonna do, finish the errands that I gotta do. And then I'm thinking I'll probably head to you like one, mm -hmm. 12, one, somewhere around there. Definitely. All right, cool, maybe we could, oh dang, ain't no trading today, it's a holiday. I was gonna say, maybe we could do Millie Meals together. But I don't know if they're going to go live because it's Memorial Day. So, All right. So, I got one question. What you sacrificing to get to your next rank? Fun. All right. Unnecessary fun. Yeah. I have realized that I'll just be like, oh, let me go spark up. Oh, let me go pull up on my cousin, go smoke. No. I'm going to say, I'm also going to like say smoking for like the bottom of my list. Like, did you go to the gym yet? Did you clean your room? Did you wash your dish? Like, it's so many things that I need to be doing throughout my day. You know what I'm saying? So I just want to make sure that I'm 
focusing on my priorities instead of the non-priorities. Well, you got to sacrifice something else. It can't be fun because fun and properties go hand in hand. Well, that's why I said unnecessary fun. You know what I'm saying? Like, not just fun. Like, I'm going to have fun throughout the day. I'm going to live my life because that's just me, period. But, like, um, what's another word for try it? Like, try something like sacrificing uh, music. Like rap. I already do that. I literally don't even have Apple Music because of that. So you gonna I did be, that last year. Um, it's all uh, personal development videos. Yeah, I'm going. I got a book that I want to finish, The Compound Effect. I hope I plan on finishing that by Friday night. There you period. go. Okay, yes. fine. So you see what I'm saying? Like I'm cutting out all the extra stuff that's taking up. You know what I'm saying? Everything else that you need to be doing. So I don't necessarily mean cutting out fun, but just the unnecessary fun. Like if my cousin hit me up and be like, oh, you want to go out for drinks? The old me would be like, hell yeah. The old me going to be like, uh, maybe let's plan that for a better day. Right. Yeah, that's got good. goals to do. I also got my cousin and my little sister on like a little trial or something like that so they can know what's going on my sister was in the business before so she knows what's going on she just never really took her time through the academy so mm -hmm. she didn't really know what was going on as far as like in the markets and stuff um what's your rank me mm -hmm. i'm not ranked right now okay whole okay. team gone so i'm literally starting from scratch right now um after dallas the last people that i had on my team Literally, when we got back to Atlanta, I did not hear back from them. Hmm. Um, so, of course, I have my own theories about what may have happened, but that doesn't matter. That's neither here nor there. Yeah, so, can... I'm also working working on showing the plan five to six times a week and prospecting five new people a day. I got that from the convention, too. Because I definitely need to talk to more new people on a daily basis. How you do that is you talk to you know, how you better that up is you talk to the people you already know, but just call more that just call more of them during the day. Yeah. So if you talk to 50 people and invite all 50 to a Zoom call, 10 of them on show up. And then if you show them the presentation, three of them on sign up. So you should P50 every day if you if you um practice or speaking to 50 people today, next week you'll be able to talk to 50 people easily. Mm -hmm. Yeah, great point. So Love start it. calling people, see who up, don't even don't even care. Hello, you up, you not. Oh, okay, we, we just, I'm just working on myself. Right. <laughs> just want to know if you was trying to work on you too. <laughs> yeah. I'm talking to 50 people, I'm sorry, just block. Hello. <laughs> what's up, AB? What's up, big? My bad, I was just saying, what's up? You know what I'm saying? I call right, I call the people with proximity I need to be in. Yeah. That way, that way I attract the people, the same type of people. I call slim. I don't I don't pull up on none of these people who who are like not focused. But Slim mm -hmm. told me, told me last night he hasn't been focused. Mm -hmm. So I've been pulling up on somebody who wasn't focused. So me seeing how he lived. Not doing no phone work, playing the video game, I can contest to that. Yeah. See, and I'm entertaining that. So that's what I that's why I'm bettering myself because you are what you entertain. But yes, I, let's go, be blah. Yes. So if I see a P2 doing that, then I'm gonna do the opposite. I'm gonna do what he's not doing, which is these yeah. calls, videos, and YouTube traveling the events. But he now he's going to events. He said yeah. last night he ain't going to no events. I've been to every event that I could fly to, drive to, walk to, yeah. ride the bus to. Nigga, I don't walk, rode the bus to an event. Yeah. The Atlanta I'm with event. I rode Marta to the Atlanta event both nights. You feel me? Yeah. Ain't no excuses, bro. That nigga stay in the city. He wasn't there. Yeah. That's a fact. Proximity is everything. What he saying? He told That's me. why I appreciate y'all right? because you know, my. My particular squad be having a lot of shit going on that don't even matter, neither here nor there. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I really do appreciate being connected to other MMO members. You know what I'm saying? It's a breath of fresh air. It keeps me connected because sometimes I'll be feeling disconnected. So, yeah, bro, I appreciate y'all. I appreciate you for real, bro. 
Yes. I also need a mechanic. Do you know a mechanic? Work these cars. Yeah. Yeah. I know a mechanic. All right, babe. His name Double Up. Double Up. Where he at? In Atlanta. Okay. Well, I'm going to chop it up when I pull up or when I call you. I'm going to go ahead and get some of these other things out the way. I want to finish this reel so I can post it. Well, I'm making a TikTok and I'm going to post it as a reel. Um, and then, yeah. I'm going to see. What, did Sakura get back? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to see if she want to pull up too. Um, but yeah. Okay. So I'm going to hit you back. I'm thinking like around 12, 1, I'll be pulling up. You gonna be here at twelve? Like between twelve and one. Don't quote me on twelve on that. <laughs> mm -mm. We need to go ahead and write out a schedule for today. What are we doing for today? Um. Well, I'm about to make a reel while I listen to Nino, and then I'm gonna make me something to eat, like a little. I know I got some muffins and some croissants in there, and then um, I could really pull up on you after that because I was gonna go to somebody about my car, but. He playing games and I'm just like, yeah, it's the on, lack man. of communication for me. Like, I know you're not a professional working in the shop, but if I said, if we said, hey, you could pull up so I could check some things out and I call you seven times and then you text me, like, I just don't even want to be bothered no more. Like, trying yeah, to get my car fixed. This is not a game. Like, I know you're not a professional, but be professional about it. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Trying to help somebody with their car. The fuck? Come on over here, Kyrie. Huh? I said, come on over here, Johnny. We're going to go walking. Bring some All right. shoes. We're going to smoke. All right, bet. Because mm -hmm. I do need to work out. Okay. Okay, cool. Okay. So I'm going to um get up, get my room together, grab my muffin and shit, and then I'll call you. Give me like an hour. Okay. Okay, cool. See you in a bit. Yeah.